and welcome to your pick a card reading for love. These are timeless. They are also general. Not every reading is going to resonate with everybody watching. However, I do hope that some messages manage to reach you at the right time when you need to hear them the most. And of course, always for your highest good. So I'm going to start with stack number one. I'm going to move stack two and three out of the way. We'll get to this later. Okay, let's see what we have for one. This is uh, the Oracle card. I will save that for last. All right, so we have the Emperor. So it could be Aries energy some of you are dealing with. Uh, we have be assertive, which honestly, these two kind of mirror each other in the sense that, yes, the Emperor is assertive. He's very stern and set in his ways. Um, it's a number four, so when I think of number four, I do think of stability. I think of a firm foundation. Uh, the Emperor is the master of his own world, like he's always in control, right? So he has this kind of self-control aspect of him where... If you look at the card here, he does have his world in his hands, right? So I feel like there's this assertiveness and this emperor go hand in hand in the sense that there's something that you're you're getting control over. There's something that you're mastering. Um, and I also think of with the emperor, I think of boundaries, all right? Walls, fortified walls, okay? Think of... A barrier, think of boundaries, think of a structure of some sort that is protective, right? Because a, an emperor would protect his kingdom. So I don't know why I'm getting the vibe of needing like to set boundaries in a situation with someone possibly. And this be assertive card is kind of just confirming the need to um, create boundaries between you and somebody or... Put your foot down, okay? Assert yourself with someone, all right? Um, you have the worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life, which is beautiful energy because it's saying that the universe has your back in a sense that there's other things, there are other forces at work right now. There are other factors, I want to say, with this card to consider, so the emperor, I don't know, there's something about the emperor that's saying, hey, you need to either set boundaries with somebody in a relationship, whether that be love, family, friend. Um, you need to set boundaries or you need to, to grasp control of the situation for your own well-being, for your own protection. Remember, the, the emperor will protect his kingdom. He will protect his dwelling, right? He is the king of his castle, Um not gender specific, but it's more like I need to do what's best for me kind of energy. I need to set my my foot down in this situation. I need to um, get, a, get a grip. Okay, that's really what I'm hearing. I need to get a grip. And the divine timing energy here is just saying get a grip, okay? Grasp a hold of the situation for now. Do what you have to do to protect yourself, to... Um, kind of assert yourself solidify again solid ground solid foundation solidify yourself in who you are that all these things okay will work out in divine time they will unfold as they should in a relationship or in in a situation with somebody okay you know they say um what is meant for you will never be withheld from you. Okay, just from these three cards, I am hearing that. Like, rejection is also God's protection. I've heard, uh, you know, I've heard that saying before too. They're, they're kind of similar. So I'm looking at this emperor and I'm looking at the assertive and I'm looking at the worth waiting for. It's like, you know, all good things will unfold as they may. This situation with this person will work out as it should. Um, I'm also hearing from the emperor, you teach people how to treat you. Okay, so I, like I said, I felt the boundaries that needed to be made. I needed, I, I heard the, the need, 
for you to to assert yourself or to put your foot down with somebody to set healthy boundaries with somebody um in the meantime like for now like that's what's needed right now that that's kind of the vibe i'm getting from this um the divine timing aspect i'm hearing from the worth waiting card is saying look if this person if you can set your distance between you and this person or set your boundaries and put your foot down in this situation with somebody, uh, it's giving you space, all right? And it's giving the universe space to work and do what it needs to do in the meantime that all will fall into place in divine timing, but there's some space that needs to be placed between you and this other person for now, okay? That's why the worth waiting for card is showing up, I think, the way that it is. And again, you had a lot of cards fall out for stack one. Um, you had the two of cups and you have the emperor. Again, this energy here, okay, is, is just confirming this need to get a grip, this need to take control over the situation to, to put your foot down. Uh, you know, the emperor is king of his domain. So it's almost like you need to... to I don't know why I'm hearing you need to work on you right now. You need to set the boundaries between you and this other person so you can heal, so you can work on you, so that way you can become this emperor. So you can assert yourself in your own power, okay? Um, stand in, yeah, so you can stand in your power. And it might have to do with a soulmate, okay? Um, I don't know why I'm hearing, like, the distance between you and a soulmate right now is necessary. The boundaries between you and this other person are necessary right now. So, so that way you can become the emperor you're meant to be. Or they can become the emperor that they need to be. And it's necessary because, I don't know, I'm like hearing like a timing aspect. Like the timing's just not right. The timing's not right. At the moment. Like there's obviously this love here. Right? There's obviously this soulmate connection. This kindred spirit energy. This um, connect, this connection. This affinity for someone. There's obviously this uh, going on between you. Um, but there's some aspects. Maybe just circumstance keeps the boundaries apart or keeps you from them at the moment but there is this love energy here and there is this this care like there's um there's an affection here between you and this other person but i feel like honestly i feel like some there's part of you that's stubborn or there's part of them that's stubborn there's something there's some um pa maybe a power struggle i'm hearing okay or a need to assert yourself or a need to set healthy boundaries for now between you and this other person i think um i don't know why i'm feeling like it's part of the lesson it's part of the soul growth it's part of the self-empowerment okay and the timing aspects really seems to be off at the moment and that's why the universe is saying hey you know each of you need to step into your own power for whatever reason first get a grip on your own lives first before you can achieve this two of cups or you already have the two of cups energy between you obviously um but it's more like there are other aspects, there are things at the moment, circumstances that create these boundaries for the moment. And it's like, uh, it's almost like a need to relinquish the control, okay? That's why this card is saying worth waiting for divine timing is at play. It's like relinquish control over the way that things are unfolding and trust that if there's these these limitations, I don't know why I'm hearing that, but maybe we'll see it in other cards. Um, if there's some kind of limitation or boundary or things that are out of your control, that's probably for a good reason. Or maybe if you need to set boundaries at the moment, 
that's probably for the best, okay? Because the timing isn't right. So you have the Knight of Swords. This could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, okay. <laughs> this right here, the fact that it says Watcher. All right, I'm going to put these down um, because I just want to focus on this right now. The imagery in the card is giving me the feeling that somebody's you might have put boundaries between you and another person, but he's still looking out for you or she's still looking out for you um, or checking up on you. Um, I know that it's not like a page, a page of swords. Uh, a lot of times that can come up as like the, the spying card or the stalker card or whatever. Um, but I'm looking at the Knight of Angels like... They're keeping an eye on you at a distance, okay? This is the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords is an energy that rushes in and then can also quickly rush back out of your life. Um, so I wonder if that's maybe what happened, and that's why there's this, I don't know why I'm hearing or feeling distance, but these boundaries between you. Like, there's a soulmate here, but somebody has set boundaries at the moment or created them um i'm hearing a uh, runner okay somebody ran like i said they'll run into your life they'll come into your life fast and furious and they can leave just as quickly with this energy um and when they do come into your life they stir up they stir it up like they'll they'll shake things up okay it, it is associated this energy it can be associated with chaos so they turn your life and your world completely upside down and then leave, okay? So I feel like this person might have left, um, but in the midst of the distance, in the midst of the boundaries that maybe you set or they set, okay, stubbornly set, this person I still feel is looking at you or watching you at a distance or they're, they've never really lost sight of you. They're looking out for signs of you. I feel like they, this air energy might have been the one to run. Um, but that didn't keep them from looking for you. Okay, looking for you, whether that be in social media, whether that be um, by word of mouth from other people that they might find themselves around that might know you, you know, that kind of thing. They're always looking for signs of you. Um, I also want to say uh, they see they see things that they they weren't that they didn't see at the moment when they they split. Okay, um, it's almost like they're seeing things now that they wish they would have seen before about you. That is honestly the vibe that I'm getting from this. Um, these cards are beautiful, by the way. They they read very intuitively just from the artwork. So. I'm looking at this like they they see that they see now. I feel like there's the boundaries need to be set for the moment because the timing isn't right. I think both of you are um, standing in your pa own individual power. There are there there's some you know putting the foot down or being stubborn, assertive in the way that you're dealing with them or the way that you have dealt with them in the past. Um, and I think that once. Once, I don't know why I'm hearing the smoke clears. The smoke maybe being confusion, okay? Um, maybe when the smoke clears, they'll come back around. There's an aspect of divine timing. It's just not the right time. So if any of you have experienced this energy with a runner, okay, somebody who came in and flipped your world upside down and then happened to leave that is a soulmate energy here with this two of cups uh there was a strong connection here but unfortunately there's some kind of boundaries that need to be in place for now because it's not the right time it's not f the right time uh i guess for a reunion is what i'm hearing so you have the eight of wands now Remember I said how uh, I was getting the vibe that 
he this person might still be looking for you in in different places or by word of mouth or like just listening out for word of you the eight of wands is about communication again it's also about fast moving energy so like i said as quickly as they came into your life and flip things upside down and inside out and you know all over the place um they left just as quickly right but this card is also about movement it is about communication it is about text emails uh phone calls so i feel like either this person is listening for word of you i mean you could also be listening and you know checking their social media too or or looking for signs of them as well this could be read obviously vice versa but um this is kind of confirming that okay it, it's confirming the communication that they're seeking I, I feel like they want to communicate maybe they're looking for the right time to communicate because they they still see you or you still see them as this two of cups um and they're looking out for you Maybe they they want to come forward, okay? Maybe that's why this assertive energy is here, because there's a there's a desire to come forward and assert yourself, and to not hide anymore, not play in the shadows anymore, or um, maybe. I guess have the courage all right to come forward maybe you're still waiting for them maybe you've been waiting for them to do that and they haven't yet okay maybe you're looking also for signs of communication from them you have the nine of cups so I can look at the nine of cups as <clears throat> You know, you see them as wish fulfillment. You know, um, we always say the Nine of Cups, like readers, you know, we all know this is our wish. This is a wish card or a happy card or some kind of, jo it's a jovial energy, right? Um, it's, it's also a card of pleasure, right? So, and say, I want to say satiety, okay? Like uh, being satisfied, being satiated. So I look at the Nine of Cups as um, an energy where you know you look at this person as your wish fulfillment. You look at them as being able to fill your cups. Okay, you had pleasure in their company. Again, the Two of Cups is here. The Nine of Cups is also a card of independence. Uh, that with the Nine of Pentacles. Card of Independence, learning how to be happy on your own. Again, I want to go back to the Emperor, those boundaries. It's almost like the, I, I did get the, the feeling that there was a need to heal individually, right? Um, this Nine of Cups is kind of, you know, playing off of that in a sense where you got to learn how to be happy on your own. You got to learn how to to love yourself, right? Um in order to get to a point where you could start sharing that with others, right? Being your best self with other people. So I can I can definitely feel that from the Nine of Cups. Like you're focused on your world, you're working on you right now, you're learning how to be happy. And once you get to a place, you know, of that, or once they get to a place of doing just that, then there's, you know, the communication will come in. The Eight of Wands happens really fast. A lot of times, it's a lot of communication back and forth quickly. Um, this person easily could, you know, eventually, like I said, if you've been waiting for communication from them for a long time, this person could finally decide to, you know, let let the words fly, okay? Literally communicate back and forth. And it's it could be a very happy, with the Nine of Cups, it could be very happy, maybe you've wished and hoped for communication from them for a very long time and now with the eight of wands and the nine of cups it's finally here do you see um 
so we have the thought card, which does speak of, you know, thinking a lot about somebody. I could also see this as reminiscing about someone. Um, you might have a lot on your mind in regards to them. Like I said, if, if any of you or the other person could be debating whether to reach out to you. All right. They see you as this nine of cups or as far as making them happy or being that wish fulfillment. They see you as the two of cups. There's boundaries right now between you. You've been waiting a long time to hear from them. Um, you know, they might be willing to assert themselves and have the courage to come out and speak to you after much healing and much uh, self growth and empowerment. Um, they might be debating it. They might be thinking about finally reaching out to you. Okay, maybe they see you at a distance and there's a desire to reach out. Okay, um, you have the wreath and you have this that also flew out. It says, yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. Yeah, um, I can put this thought card and the wreath together. Like you've been thinking, you know, there's some nostalgia here. Okay, somebody's at a distance from you. You still think about them. You have the sorrow over the loss or their parting, okay? Um, and you are frustrated, maybe frustrated at the distance, frustrated at the lack of movement right now between you maybe, or the lack of communication even with this eight of wands. I feel like, I feel like the other person could be debating reaching out right because they see you as this two of cups but there's some kind of boundary there maybe you block them all right maybe they feel like they can't come forward for whatever reason maybe they're trying to work up the courage to do so you've been thinking about a lot about them maybe they've been thinking a lot about you maybe you know you're sad over the way it went down um and there's a little bit of frustration in regards to the whole situation but at the same time the universe is saying hey you know, there's a reason why time has gone by. There's a reason why you haven't heard from this other person or they haven't heard from you. There's a reason why these boundaries are in place right now because there's there's something else bigger going on that you can't see at the moment. Like the timing isn't right, okay? The timing isn't right. And yeah, it could feel frustrating wanting word from them, wanting to hear from them. But if the timing is not right, it's almost like you have to trust that there's uh, a bigger reason for it all okay so let's see what your final oracle card says look at that again two cards of timing you are trying too hard again i'm going to go back to what i was saying about the emperor control you got to relinquish control right you're trying too hard give it time Give it time to do its thing. Give the universe time to do its thing. Um, I could easily see a reunion here with the Two of Cups, you know, and the Eight of Wands. Again, that Eight of Wands will come in to, you know, bring lots of talking back and forth, lots of quick movement. I think when they do come back, it's going to, they're going to come in like this. Quick, fast. They're going to rush in. Okay, there, there's something going on here with the timing aspect. It's just not the right time. So trust that there's a reason for it. But I feel either way, I do feel that you're looking out for them or they're somehow looking out for you, but at a distance. Okay, so stack number one, people, I hope this helped you. Um, you know, if it does, you know, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I do love hearing from all of you and it helps me to you know, encourage me to keep doing this if it is connecting for you and you're getting what you need out of these readings. So I'm going to get to stack two. All right. So what do we have? Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Uh, card, to me, that's a card of transitions. I, I will call it often the Wheel of Change because when it does happen or, you know, it's always on something unexpected, something out of the blue, something we're not anticipating, it takes things out of our lives as well as brings uh, new things in. Um, sometimes I look at this also like a what goes around comes back around. So uh, just as quickly as something enters your life, it can also leave your life. Things from the past can also come back. 
All right. It's almost like the wheel of change. I also call it like um, the need to, I always say like there's a need to surrender with this energy because when it comes in, we don't know what it's bringing. Okay. Uh, we don't know, like think of a brush, uh, a roulette wheel at a, at a casino, how the little ball, you know, is going in that circle and it's spinning and spinning and spinning. You don't know where it's going to land. And it's like you just have to trust and go with the flow as these things are shifting because you don't know where that ball is going to land. You don't know what the universe is going to throw in your lap. So it's almost like expect the unexpected is what I'm hearing from the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Um, so, yeah, if we have Fortune, okay, yeah, a lot of times it can, you know, a lot of times I say with this one too. Let me go back to this. If it's taking something out of your life, it's to bring something, usually to bring you something better, right? Uh, it's shifting your course. It's putting you on the right path for a reason. It's shifting your fortune. Fortune is a positive word to me, okay? So if anything, these changes or these shifts are bringing abundance, okay? They're bringing something fruitful to you, all right? Okay, I'm going to go back here. Past life relationship, uh, a past love, maybe that's what the Wheel of Fortune is bringing back to you, a love from the past. All right, definitely could be. So maybe, um, you know, past life relationships are you know usually part of our soul groups, part of our soul family, our soulmates. Um, you know, if you believe in the, the twin flame paradigm, you know, that's part of that. There are these connections that, you know, some of us believe that will follow us into many different lifetimes, right? So I'm thinking that that's what this is. Um, maybe it's one of these type of connections, okay, that at one time maybe fall have fallen out of your life, um, maybe are from a previous life, and now they're it's finding their way back into your your life this time around, right? So whatever or whoever this is, um, it looks like it's a positive energy because of this abundance card. Okay, so whoever they are, um, it's somebody who's going to bring something to, I mean, look at, look at what she's holding. She's holding all these riches. Uh, she's holding all this prosperity. So you know, this person could also make you feel like that. They might fill you or or fill your fill a space in your heart that makes you feel full, all right, complete. Um, it's saying here, past life relationship, you have known each other before, whether that be in this lifetime or in another. But there's something about this person or this situation that that brings some kind of blessing with them. Okay. So I don't, like I said, I don't know. I could also look at it like this person could have fallen out of your life and the fact that they've left your life is what's bringing the abundance, right? It's like releasing the old in order to make space for the new. Um, you, I think it was in the last reading, we had a similar energy where it was like you can't carry baggage with you into your future, right? It's almost like you have to lighten your load. So it could also be that this person has shifted their way out of your life and as a result of them leaving you have your abundance okay so it can work both ways they can bring the abundance with them or the abundance comes after they've gone <laughs> so either way um king of wands energy leo aries sagittarius um you could be dealing with that fire sign energy that could be you that could be the other person but i don't know well, let me look at this one here king of okay we have two court cards here. So honestly, what I'm getting is the other way around. I'm getting the vibe that somebody's entering your life that is going to make you feel this abundance. Okay, maybe somebody new for you singles out there. Somebody could be entering your life. A soulmate could be coming into your life. Okay. And bringing these changes and this, this unexpected topsy-turvy energy with that Wheel of Fortune. Like, I'm going to say... When this person arrives with the Wheel of Fortune, it's almost like a, um, I guess a serendipity, or I guess that's the word I'm looking for, I'm not sure. It's more like 
they come out of nowhere. You weren't expecting it. It just, it just happened. Like, what the heck? Like, how did that even happen? Like, that's the, the vibe I'm getting. Like, you, it takes, it throws you off course, but in the best kind of way. All right. It's like the, it's like you couldn't have planned this meeting at all. Like, this is something that just happens out of left field. Okay. That's what I'm hearing from that. And whoever this is, is carrying around a lot of passion. Could also be, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here with the King of Hearts. Hmm. You know, um, if there were things that you were releasing in the past with this Wheel of Fortune or making space for, like getting rid of old things in order to make room for new love, possibly. Getting rid of old love in order to make room for new love. You're making space for the, the real deal to come in. This person has a healing energy about them. Okay? They're emotionally mature. They know what they want when it comes to love. This is two kings. So whoever's coming in here, not gender specific. So whatever energy is coming in here, they're serious. Okay. Because you have two kings. If somebody's going to present love to you, you would sooner have them be a king than a page or a knight. Right. So this is a kind of serious love that you would want. And I feel like um, the King of Wands energy knows what he wants. He goes after it. He's very enthusiastic and passionate about his pursuits. The same way with the King of Hearts. The King of Hearts wears his heart on his sleeve. He's very uh, mature in the way that he handles love. He's very emotionally mature. He's not afraid to love. So, yeah, both some someone who has both passion and emotional maturity that can balance the two, okay? They're not just... They're not just... Um, led by libido with the king of wands right they actually have the emotions to go with that so it's not just about the sexuality let's say it's more or less they're willing to invest their emotions as well so the, this is a good combination i think um so i feel like whatever has left your life recently or has changed to make space for something or someone new to come in um it's bringing a positive energy i'm looking at the king of hearts the king of wands as somebody you would want to come into your life okay and they might very well be a soulmate from a previous lifetime and you will know and sense that passion and that love right away okay you will you will feel that connection you will feel that that past life connection you'll feel it immediately um with passion and with the emotion behind it all right. So you have the nine of pentacles, which is mirroring the abundance and the prosperity. Um, it is a lush energy. It is surrounded by beauty and all good things. So when I look at the nine of pentacles, I could see this as, hey, You at the moment might be this Nine of Pentacles, very independent energy, very self-sufficient person, right? You might be this Nine of Pentacles. You might already be doing very well on your own, that you don't necessarily need anybody because you're self-established, okay? You're self-actualized. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune is coming in to shake that up. Sometimes the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups can be, um, like I said, very independent, self-sufficient energy. They don't really rely on people all the time. Or they don't have a need of another person because they, they can do fine all by themselves, in other words. Uh, but I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is trying to change that dynamic in some way. Yeah, you have a lot going on on your own but I almost feel like the universe is trying to bring somebody into your life so you can share that with again the abundance card is reflecting this nine of pentacles so I don't know I feel like I feel like the this person is bringing some kind of abundance with them. I could also look at it like 
this person wants to shower you in abundance. They want to surround you with beautiful things. They want to take care of you in some way. They want to provide stability because you have, um, you have the Four of Wands here. The Four of Wands is a firm foundation. Um, it's also a celebratory energy. It also is stability and security and safety, okay? So I feel like this person wants to secure you, wants to make you feel safe. They want to provide you with that stability, with that firm foundation. Four of Wands can also speak of um, marriage, okay? Some, yeah, somebody could be trying to, to offer you that kind of situation, commitment, stability, right? They want, they want a serious relationship. Again, King of Wands and then the King of Cups. They're serious. Um, they might want to offer you a home, okay? Like, your heart is my home. That's what I'm hearing. And I'm hearing that from the Four of Wands. Um, sometimes this card can speak of uh, twin flames. You know, if you're in that situation, the past life relationship card would mirror that, okay? This card has pillars in it, and this one does too. So I feel like this person knows that, okay, th this person is coming in. I am getting the vibe that they know that you are independent, you are self-sufficient, that you don't need them, okay? But they hope that you want them. Difference. All right, that's what I'm getting from it. They both have, they have a lot of emotion for you as well as passion. And they're coming in to share, um, to share this, this buildup, okay, of emotion with you. Like, um, I'm looking at her and I'm looking at it like, there's a lot building up, it's spilling forth, okay? It cannot be contained anymore, whatever they're feeling. All right, do you see all the coins spilling out of her her bowl there, okay? Um, they, it can't be contained. The way they feel about you cannot be contained any longer, so I'm getting the vibe that they're coming in to express this, to share it with you, to show you that they're they're for real, to show you that they mean it that they're serious. Okay, more money. Um, could be fine. You could have some, you could have some finances coming in. All right. Um, but I'm reading this for love. So I'm seeing this more like of something of value. Okay, again, there's something that's coming in that's of value to you money is valuable. Money is an asset. So I look at this like this person is an asset to your life or this person will bring that dynamic to your life. Um, I'm seeing financial comforts here. You know, this person might have their sh shit together, I guess, as far as finances and, and decent, you know, decent money. Um, you might also be living in, a, in an abundant lifestyle. Again, like I said, you might already be that self-sufficient person. This person, if anything, is just going to bring the love into into your life where it might have been lacking. Okay, now it's like you not only have, you know, physical aspects in your life that are lush and vibrant and fulfilling you, but the one thing, let's say, that missing that is missing maybe was love. Well, this person is going to fill that other cup, okay? Um, so I'm looking at this, if anything, this is someone who is a value to you, somebody that you see as valuable, somebody that could enhance your existence just by, you know, being around them, okay? They're bringing some kind of abundance, whether that's material or emotional as far as love. Um, I feel like they want to shower you with that, okay?
Um, before I get, yeah, look at this position of authority. Well, what's funny is this chair reminds me of all, all the kings in the tarot anyway, right? Because they're always sitting in a throne or a chair. So this is somebody of importance, okay? Authority, somebody with a valuable position or that will have um, a, a important position in your life, okay? That, that's what I'm seeing here. I'm going to go back to the idea that maybe something or someone fell out of your life and now here you are, you know, basking in your abundance since they left, okay? Because these two energies could be you, you know, that could be you standing in your power now with that King of Wands, taking control of your life back, having learned and emotionally grown with that King of Cups standing in your own authority, okay, as a master of your own life, you enjoying the abundance and the blessings coming to your to your door now that this old energy is shifted out. Nine of Pentacles, again, independent energy, self-sufficient, don't need anybody, I can be happy all by myself. Um, and you establishing your own stability as a result of these shifts and changes and these people falling out of your life. But honestly... I'm getting the vibe that somebody's coming back or somebody's coming into your life or entering your life to shower you with this abundance. You might have a lot going on in your life, but maybe that's the one dynamic that was still missing. And whoever this is, it's somebody important to you, whether it's somebody you already know or somebody who's coming into your life to, you know, take this position or... this fill this this um space in your life okay but they are they are important to you or they they have value to you or you value them they value you but it's to establish something here with this four so let's see what we got Ooh, okay so it says wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course that's kind of exciting like i said um, somebody could be offering you something serious, right? Um, and the Wheel of Fortune energy, when it comes in, it does shift things unexpectedly. So maybe the universe, as like a last word of advice, is basically just saying, hey, this situation might come in hot and heavy. You might really like this person. You might have an affection or affinity for this person. You might value them. They might value you. This is something you've been waiting for for a really long time. Um, but it's like, whoa, let let nature run its course. It's super exciting, but don't get ahead of yourself. Okay? Uh, slow it down just a tiny bit. Enjoy the ride. Basically, allow things to unfold organically. Okay? Um, maybe there's this instant recognition with these two cards and the past life. Okay? Maybe you know it's already the real deal when they do come in, but... It's more or less like saying, just take your time, savor the moment, get to know them, allow it to unfold organically, um, and see where it goes. I still think this is positive. You see those two energies on the front of the card. Um, but yeah, whatever, whoever's coming into your life is literally going to shake things up with that wheel. They're going to throw you off guard, but in the best kind of way and brings bring something to your life that maybe you haven't had in a long time um, i think the universe just wants to say hey you know just put the brakes on a little bit remember this king of wands energy can be super passionate super heady right um so it's almost like don't let the the passion and the the emotions and all that like throw you um throw you for a loop where you lose sense your senses in other words where you lose your senses and you lose all logic and reason okay so just keep that in mind number two uh people so this is really exciting um i hope that whoever this is really does you know come through the way that these cards 
are saying because it sounds really exciting. So if this connects for you, um, you know, please do let me know. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below because um, I really appreciate your feedback. So best wishes to you on that. So number three, keep that here. Let's see what we got. Temperance. Oh, I love this card. Healing, right? Um, alchemy, balance, and an ability to find a solution, right? Sometimes they can see this as not only healing, but renewal, reconciliation sometimes. Okay, um, to me, the temperance is a hidden two of cups, right? Because we have the two cups that she's pouring. And in the midst of pouring the two cups, they create this, um, this alchemy or this, this mixture of elements. You have recovery. So this is matching the healing energy. The reconciliation energy of the temperance. Okay. Um, so there is some kind of reconciliation or healing in a situation with somebody. Whether that be romantic or familial or a friend or something. There's, there's some kind of healing that is occurring or that will occur. Um, I'm also looking at the tempers, like I said, like a solution to a problem. Uh, finding a solution or happy equilibrium or finding a way to heal or come to terms with something that allows you to finally heal and recover from a situation with somebody. So it says romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, okay, so part of healing, right? Um, whether it be healing from past love or reconciling with somebody, it does require you to explore your feelings, okay? To honor your feelings, to understand what happened, what went wrong. Um, I, I, I don't want to use the word analyzing, but... How do you how do you become self-aware if you're not analyzing yourself or the situation or trying to learn from from it, right? So there is a little bit of that. So I feel like there's there's an exploration, like it says there's a need to explore explore the situation, explore what happened with them, learn from it, recover from it, heal from it. So what you're feeling, right? Um, okay, so this card is saying your feelings are real and worth exploring. So it almost makes you wonder if you were doubting the way that you were feeling. If you were wondering if your feelings had any validity at all. The temperance is really can or has the ability to explore the emotion, right? Um, because she's standing in water. That water represents emotion to me. So I felt like you had to do that. You had to explore your feelings. You had to explore um, the way that you were feeling, dissect it and learn from it, and as a result, becoming more self-aware. Becoming, becoming more self-aware of the situation, becoming more self-aware of the person. Um, I'm hearing seeing them from a different set of eyes, okay? Seeing the situation from a different set of eyes. Like the recovery or the healing that has happened between you and them or on your own from the romance or from the experience or whatever it was that you were dealing with with this other person. From that healing you've been able to look at the situation from a different set of eyes, kind of like from the outside in, is what I'm hearing. There are feelings there. There, There is, I'm hearing love. There is love there for this person that you've, you've managed to find a way to 
um, look at them and see the love despite what happened you can still find the love there okay there's some kind of love there despite what happened and it's only because you've been able to heal from it alchemize all of that transmute all of that and learn from the experience okay so you have five of swords and you have the three of angels and look that word right there clarification again the healing the recovery um being able to learn from it is what is bringing the clarification okay it's what's bringing the healing the self-awareness and the recovery the five of swords is a card where there's a feeling of defeat there's a feeling of somebody walking away from you you having to maybe walk away from somebody um sometimes this card can speak about like being thrown under the bus or somebody hurting you without considering your feelings or not having enough empathy for you in the situation somebody all always it's like a no-win situation a lot of times with this card somebody always walks away hurt and a lot of times um it's a situation where one person is not really okay i'll say people walk away can walk away as collateral damage okay the, the situation somebody's always going to get hurt and a lot of times the five of swords is that so and there's three people in this card so i don't know if there was a three-party situation i know it's not like a three of cups a three well there is a three of swords here so and there's three people in this card so I don't know if it was that kind of situation, but I feel like some of you have like truly alchemized that situation that might've been very hurtful with the five of swords. You've explored your feelings for the situation for the other person. You explored your own feelings and you've gained some kind of clarity from it. The Three of Angels is also the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is a card of, a lot of times I look at it like those swords are the thoughts in your head. And the heart, okay, is pierced by all of the thoughts and all the perceptions and all of these things. It's like a battle of head and heart. But in the midst of exploring your feelings okay exploring the way you felt in in the heart space as well as you know your mind you were able to find clarification and with that clarification and with that clearing the way okay you brought this healing you brought this recovery you've you're slowly starting to heal from this broken heart the three of swords or three of angels does speak of sorrow and heartbreak so I feel like your heart was broken. Maybe this person left or broke your heart with that five of swords. Maybe you feel defeated in regards to this love situation. Um, but at the same time, you've managed to alchemize the hurt. And now, look, you've reached your higher self because of that transmutation right you're self-aware now you have a stronger connection to yourself your higher realms to your soul because of this experience because of this person who who you had these feelings for and maybe broke your heart or left you in some way or walked away um, they might have left you a broken heart, right? But if it wasn't for that broken heart, you wouldn't have reached that crown chakra, okay? 
So I'm looking at this like, yeah, honor the way that you feel for them. How how can it? How can the you? How would you say like how can you? Be mad at yourself for loving someone, right? Um, or allowing yourself to be vulnerable enough to love someone. Don't, I, I want to say don't regret having loved. Uh, what do they say? It's better to have loved than lost and never have loved at all, right? So it's okay to honor the way you felt for them. Um... But also stand confident, like the temperance is, in the fact that you have evolved, like this recovery card shows. Crown chakra level reached. Okay? Um, if it wasn't for that experience, if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't have reached that level of your own evolution. So I'm looking at this like whoever was... Whoever made you experience the Three of Swords and whoever this person is in the Five of Swords, they were a catalyst for your own evolution. Maybe they brought things to the surface for you to heal, okay, unknowingly. But... The positive is that again you're you're this you've changed you've evolved you've grown you've transformed you've healed you're a different person you're a more evolved person you're a better person and these feelings you know, are it's okay to honor them. Um, some of you might still feel love for them. If not, if anything, just gratitude for the fact that that they existed um, and brought you this, and were like change agents, okay, in your own life. So let's see what else we have. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is new beginnings. So if there was some hurt in the past, if there was a broken heart in the past, if you had to do all this healing with the tempers and the recovery card, you had to evolve because of this situation with them. Um, yeah, it's so that way you can, you can be this diamond, okay? You're now this shining bright little diamond here, okay? This shining light. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is new beginnings, new opportunities, right? New potential. So I feel like you, I feel like you're this pentacle. You're this shiny new pentacle because of this situation, because of this experience. You have so much to offer and so much to give and so much yet to become. Like, you're the shiny new coin. I also look at the Ace of Pentacles like the universe is like saying, this is a fresh new start for you. Here's this coin. Or here's this new lease on life, okay? Um, go make it what you want to make it. Like, go do what you want to do now. This is an open door, okay, and the potential for something new. Um, you have a journey which speaks about going in a new direction, leaving the past behind, okay? Look how he's cracking that whip and he's like, I don't have time to look back on the past. Yeah, because I feel with the temperance and the recovery card, you've learned from it, All right? So it's like, I don't have time to look back on the past. I'm just going to go head first, future forward. I'm going to keep going in the direction that I'm led to go. I'm going to run through that open door, okay, this new thing that's entering my life or this new lease on life that I have as a result of this love situation that taught me so much. Um, 
I feel like you're you're taking this experience and you've grown from it, you learned from it. What's beautiful about it is that I'm getting the vibe that it did not harden you. Okay, there were real feelings there in that situation for that person. You might have loved them. You might have been hurt from it, but it didn't harden your heart. Okay, you still have room to love. Now, like I said, you're taking that experiencing and you're running with it. You're just, you know, moving forward. Moving forward with the journey card, there's new things to explore with the ace. Okay, and this says someone new is entering your life. So, um... If someone is definitely new coming into your life, whatever left your life or whoever walked away with that five of swords or left you feeling defeated or rejected, okay, um, it needed to happen that way so that way you can evolve and be your best self. It's almost like I'm hearing that that experience was preparing you for the right one. Okay? That previous experience was preparing you for whoever this new person is. This is something new, someone new, a new door opening up to you, a new beginning. Yeah, and I feel like you're going to run right to it. Like, you're going to see that open door. You're going to go right through it. Because you know that something better awaits you on the other side of it. And you deserve it, too. You deserve new love. You deserve someone who's going to love and appreciate you. Okay, and if there is... A new person coming in after all the the recent you know heartache that you've been through explore those feelings okay um explore them dissect them a little bit learn from them like i said it didn't harden you whatever it is that you experienced with the five of swords and the three of swords it didn't harden your heart um or make you shut down from opening yourself up to new love which is beautiful because how many of us you know have been hurt in the past and then put these walls up towards new people that we we encounter and we keep those walls up so high that we're afraid to let love in based on what happened with the last relationship we had that treated us like crap. You know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. And it's really not only a disservice to yourself, but to the new person who could be authentically offering you love, real love. But if your walls are up so high, you're not giving them a space to, to work or to soften you up or to um, truly allow you to trust them. Right? So I feel like, you know, you understand that dynamic and you're not, you're, you're still allowing yourself enough space to be a little bit vulnerable to get to know someone new, open yourself up to the possibility of new love with that ace of pentacles and see what the future has in store for you. So I, I really like this. I hope number three people, if this connects with you, um, you know, that did you leave me a message that you let me know? Because this this really speaks highly of you, okay? The fact that you didn't allow the previous hurt to harden your heart towards another, okay? Towards the potential of another. That takes a lot of healing. That takes a lot of personal growth. A lot of self-awareness, okay? Because like I said, so many people will shut down and keep love out out of fear. And you're not doing that. So that's wonderful. Um, kudos to you, okay? So let's see what your last oracle card says. That's a beautiful picture, by the way. It says, 
acceptance is the key to inner peace. Okay. Yeah, she is definitely peaceful. You see her eyes closed. Right? Chakra, crown, level reached. <laughs> okay, it says acceptance is a key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. Yeah, accept what happened here with the five of swords and the three of angels, right? There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So, yeah, this, this person, okay, in the five of swords and the three of swords, whoever caused this heartache and grief... Um, and pain, you know, it is what it is. And you've accepted that. You've healed from it. You've moved on from it. You know that it's out of your control. And it's okay. It's more like you surrender. Okay? You surrender. So much love and blessings to everybody. I hope you got what you needed from this reading stack. Number three people. Um, sending much love to all of you. Keep in touch with me. You are more than welcome to visit me on Twitter or on Instagram and Etsy if you for, for whatever reason, feel the need for a private reading, uh, check out my different uh, spreads there. They range from uh, all kinds of prices as well. I also make handmade crystal jewelry. If you want to help support this channel and don't need a reading, consider maybe buying a piece of my handmade jewelry. So much love and blessings to everybody watching. I will see you soon. Keep shining, everyone. All my love.